So welcome to Banff. I'm in the heart of the Canadian Rockies here. That magnificent view behind me of a huge mountain range which we can't wait to get up. I love this place, it's got real soul. Seven and a half thousand, eight thousand people who live here. You can really feel it's a proper operational town. So most of the skiing in Banff isn't on your doorstep. When you're staying in Banff Town Centre, you're always a short ride away from skiing. If you want to head up to Norquay to catch some early morning corduroy slopes, that's about a 10 or a 15 minute drive, or you can jump on the ski bus. So the closest skiing to Banff is Mount Norquay. This is the Canadian Rockies, 3,000 kilometers of mountains that run right the way down to Mexico. It's absolutely incredible. You can see the view of Banff right behind me. It's a cold day great condition relatively small resort but it's good mainly peace skiing there is some backcountry here but at this time of the year at the moment we haven't got as much snow so it's very peace orientated or groomer orientated as they call it here in canada such a great little resort where every racer in town comes to to get their legs and uh, it's a great place if you want to come with the kids to really build their confidence wow what a day it's absolute corduroy. The place is empty. As you can see behind me, there's literally nobody here. It is mega. It's the quietest two weeks of the year in Banff. If you want to head to Lake Louise, you're talking about 40 minutes. Again, you can jump on the ski bus and it's a magnificent drive down. Honestly, you can sit on that bus and just enjoy the views. So one place you have to visit now you've arrived in Banff is Lake Louise. This is a spectacular resort, just a short ride outside of downtown Banff, and it boasts an amazing 4,200 acres of world-class skiing. This is as epic for beginners as it is for the most seasoned free riders. You can explore endless chutes and glades, gullies, gentle cruisers, or remote bowls. Basically, whatever you want, they've got it. It's got some of the most challenging terrain in the Rockies here in Lake Louise. 11 lifts, a longest run of five miles, and a top elevation of 2,600 meters, overlooking the absolutely stunning Lake Louise. This place is literally heaven on earth. We're here at Lake Louise. It's been changeable weather today, pretty cold. Well, I think it's cold, they don't locally. It's been trying to snow, we've had some clear weather, but around the back of West Bowl, it's just absolutely amazing. And uh, take a look at some of this. And if you're skiing in Lake Louise, it's well worth stopping in at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. If only to stop to take beautiful photos or to skate on the lake, it's such a gorgeous, tranquil setting. It's really not to be missed. It's a must do if you're out here skiing. You can even have a little drink while you're sitting in the chateau looking over the lakeside. Or maybe treat yourself to a couple of nights stay here. It's as good for your soul as it is for your wallet. This is a beautiful location. You can't fault it. Or the other option is Banff Sunshine. It's about 15, 20 minutes outside of Banff Town Centre. But the great thing is there, you want to stay up on the hill, you can ski in, ski out. You'll be skiing out on the first lifts in the morning, nine o'clock when the lifts start turning. No stay in Banff is complete without coming to Banff Sunshine. Here you've got the highest resort in Canada. It is amazing. It feels like you're free riding. There's so many groomers, there's so much off piste. It is an absolutely fantastic area, even a load of great parks. Super cold today, it's about minus 15 and it really does feel it. But trust me, the expanse of skiing, take a look at this.
Banff Avenue is the main avenue. It's not where all the shops are based, but it's where a lot of the hotels are based as you drive in. But I'll tell you what, don't forget to look down the side streets because there's loads of great little accommodation choices down there as well. There's accommodation to suit every budget. And for a great selection of places to stay, look up Banff Mountain Lodges. We found Moose Hotel and Suites and it was absolutely great. If you want to stay in a condo, eat in and go to the supermarket and get food, that's no problem. But if you want to blow your budget and head up to Banff Springs, it's a little bit out of town. It's about a 15 minute walk out of town. But wow, you're going to get some service when you get there. You've probably gathered by now that I love this place. It is well worth the journey. I didn't arrive feeling absolutely knackered. Yes, I've been waking up early in the morning, but you know what? That just means I get fresh tracks every day. And obviously they've got your rental shops. So if you want to go snowshoeing, ice skating, or pretty much anything you want to do in Banff, you can hire your gear. And the whole time you're walking down Banff Avenue, you've got this fantastic vista of huge mountains right behind you. Those incredible rocky mountains. The drive down to Golden the other day to go snowmobiling was well worth it and I would highly recommend it. White and Wild Tours, it was white and it was wild, I can tell you. It was such fun. It's epic, I love it. And the only reason I'm coming home is because the family's there.